Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation by equality rule. Just keep in one thing in your mind that this rule is going to work only if, if we have logarithmic terms on both sides of this equation. So this is the what I put it down as well. So what that means is we need to move this part to the right hand side in order to satisfy this condition. So let's go ahead and get started. So this equation is going to become log of x plus 1 with the base 7 minus log of x with the base 7 and when you move this negative this part on the other side become positive log of x plus 9 with the base 7. Now we will be using this rule to compress the left hand side. So this rule is called the logarithmic difference rule. So let's go ahead and apply on the left hand side this is our A, this part is our B. So if you want to compress using this rule, it's going to become log of x plus 1 times. So there's a minus sign. That means x is going to be at the bottom with the base 7 equal to log of x plus 9 with the base 7. Once again, this means this is, you have to divide this thing. Whenever you have minus sign, you put a that x at the bottom. Now, finally, we will be using this equality rule. To use this fact that if you have a log of x equal to log of y, then you can cancel out log on both sides. We got x equals to y. Same thing, if I have the same logs on both sides, this is gone. They are both undo each other. So we simply ended up with x plus 1 over x equal to x plus 9. So far so good. So let me go ahead and does it make any difference if I put 1 underneath? And now we're going to remove this fraction because we have a fraction by using the cross multiplication. I want you to crisscross this way and this way. So remove this one. So let's go ahead and take care of that thing. If you go this way, this way is going to be x plus 1 times 1 is x plus 1 equal to, if you go the other way around, x squared plus 9x. So far so good. So now I want you to move everything on the right hand side. We got a 0 on this side equal to x squared plus 9x is already there. So when you move x on this side become negative x and 1 becomes negative 1. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So this is going to become x squared plus 8x minus one and I can put a zero on this side doesn't make any difference whatsoever so this is a quadratic equation and we want to solve this one by using a quadratic formula and here's the quadratic formula that we will be using for this one and also I put down a b and c values a is one I put down b is positive eight and c is negative 1 I put down. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to solve for x. So let's plug it in x equal to minus b means negative 8 plus minus b squared is going to be 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times c is negative 1. Everything is divided by 2 times 1. Let's simplify this negative 8 plus minus the radical of 64 negative and negative become positive 4 over 2 times 1 is 2 so that is going to give us negative 8 plus minus square root of 68 
over 2. Now I want you to just focus on this part, radical of 68, which could be written as 4 times 17. And then you can split it up. You can break it down to square root of 4 times square root of 17. And this part, square root of 4 is 2. I can write 2 times square root of 17. So that's what I'm going to replace 60, 68 square root. I'm going to replace by that one. So let me go ahead and just do this one. So I can write negative 8 plus minus 2 times square root of 17. And here 2 could be written as you divide 2 individually like this one. So let's now go ahead and simplify, reduce. So this could be written as negative 4. This 2 and 2 is gone. We got plus or minus square root of 17. Thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 4 plus square root of 17 and negative 4 square root of 17 by splitting these two positive and negative signs. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.